G'day viewers, fellow gold refiners, gold lovers in general. Welcome back to my series of refining recovery without the use of nitric acid or with as little as possible used. I hope you are enjoying this series. Um, I'm trying to make as many as I can think of. Uh, in the comments, please leave me a uh, request if there's something that you want to see. I may already be in the process of making it or I may not have thought about it. Um, so let's carry on with another one from the series. Okay guys, in this video I'm going to be treating some gold pins. Um, now the thing is, every single time you see a video of someone doing gold pins, they always have military grade pins or medical grade pins, really good gold coating, which the average person just doesn't have. And I want to keep it real, you know, the majority of us layman people only get normal everyday gold coated pins. As you can see, these aren't anything special. Some of them look nice, they're the ones that you get in the telephone ports where telephone plugs go in and so on but majority of these are just your everyday standard pin nothing special I don't feel that the military grade pins or medical pins represent the average person and doesn't help anybody when we can't get hold of those sort of things so this is a more relatable do, um, batch of pins that I think anyway for the average person so I've got the scales there with the container teared off put these in and see what, what there is it should be quite a nice batch now some of them have fallen out all over my laptop which is dandy so I'm going to have to put those in there and I'll come back ok so we'll try that again take two so I've got it teared off I'm going to use the bigger container this time all right so we have 720 grams of average ordinary everyday gold pins and uh, there are some nice ones in there but there's a few average ones in there as well so this should hopefully be more relatable to the average person. What I'm going to do now is soak these in hydrochloric acid. I would say 70% of them don't have any solder, but there are some with. So just to make it um, definitely solder free, I'm just going to soak them in hydrochloric. And then once I drain it from that, I'll put it into AP. So I shouldn't need to have hydrochloric acid in there for any longer than an hour or two. Um, it's still really hot here, so I'm going to put it in direct sunlight. And I'm going to use this hydrochloric acid again for some other things that I need to uh, soak. As you can see, there's a good reaction. And if I step out of the way, you'll see that it's in direct sunlight. So I'll leave that for an hour or so, then I'll drain it off and fill it up with AP. It's been an hour and as you can see the reaction has slowed right down. It's just the occasional bubble. Nothing like it was before. Just give it a stir. All the salt will definitely be gone by now. So I'm going to drain it off and I'll keep that for the next job. And uh, we'll put AP in there. I need, I need two hands for that, so we'll come back. Okay, so put AP in there. And I forgot to mention if anyone's using hydrochloric acid like I did and the gold looks like it's disappeared, don't be alarmed. It tends to happen when you put HCL on gold pins, but the gold does stay there. It just discolours. As soon as you rinse it, you'll find that it's all nice and gold again. Alright, so now that that's covered, 
I'll put a little bit more to allow for evaporation in this heat and I'll leave it sit for about a week check on it, see if there's still pins there if not we're good to process alrighty so what I've done is I've filtered all the gold flakes out of the uh, the uh, acid peroxide um, it had to go into a few different filter papers because when they blocked up it was just taking too long and I used my normal funnel that I use with the brewer's bag now I've had a lot of people asking me what do you mean by brewer's bag what is a brewer's bag this is a brand new brewer's bag it's an actual bag as the word would say and the brewers would put the hops and whatever else in here to strain it as you can see the mesh is so tiny the gold can't make it through just the liquid so that's what a brewer's bag looks like that cost me about three dollars i think it was off wish.com so now I'm going to put some hydrochloric acid in there and some normal household bleach nothing special doesn't need to be very strong doesn't need to be concentrated and uh, I'll do that now put it on a bit of heat and we'll dissolve it but the main aim of this is to show you how little gold will be on it a lot of people see you know gold pins and think oh look at all that gold it is so such a thin coating yeah, and, and because I only had standard run-of-the-mill pins not anything special there's going to be very little gold in there so uh, yeah a lot of people don't realize you need lots and lots and lots and lots of e-waste to get anything decent anyway I'll dissolve it and we'll show you so I've got the uh, hydrochloric acid in there I'm just using standard household bleach from Aldi it's uh, nothing special I'm just going to pour some of this in now it's not like when you use nitric acid you have to, you have to use mill by mill this is uh, not like that it's not going to have um, a need to be denoxed but you got to watch out because it puts out chlorine gas so unless you're going to move away from it you'll need to wear a respirator or something so I've got, I'll put it on some heat now just low heat will do put a lid on it and we'll let that work <coughs> and then soon I'll come out and check, see if I need to put any more bleach in there or not. Okay, so I'm going to put the solution on a hot plate. It's actually been sitting like that for about a week now. So some of the gold would have already dissolved. But just in case, I'll put some heat on. Just a low heat. I'll give it an hour or so. I'll put a lid on so I can see if there's any fumes. Um if there's no more fumes I'll add a bit more bleach just to see if there's any more reaction if not then I know I've got all the gold if there is then I'll just keep adding bleach until there's no more reaction so I'm going to filter it it's a very dark solution probably because of the AP that was in the filters um, I tried to do a stainless test and it was too dark to tell so what I'm going to do is um, put some cotton balls in the funnel and hopefully that'll catch a lot of the black um, debris that's making it look dark uh, I've got a nice clean beaker here I just cleaned I'll put it into that and uh, do a stainless test and then drop the gold so it's time to filter this solution and try and get some gold hopefully there's going to be enough there to fall, to settle. As, uh, like I've said before, there's going to be next to no gold on this. 
Um, I didn't have a very big amount to start with and they're only standard pins. So there's very little gold. You need lots and lots and lots and lots to get somewhere decent. But uh, we'll see what happens. So I've poured off the solution from the pins and there is some gold in there. So uh, it's a bit dark to see right now out here. Um, I'll have a better look in the morning. So this is the gold from the pins. What I've done is I've filled it up with water because I find when I use uh, copper as it's a very dark solution and it's hard to find the gold. It's not like when I use copper uh, when I use SMB it's nice and clear. So what I've done is I filled it up with water. It'd be much easier to pour off this liquid and be left with the gold at the bottom. I'll be able to see it much easier. Okay, I've just uh, transferred the gold from this larger beaker that it was in into the smaller one. It'll dry it quicker and easier to scrape out once it's dry. And I uh, should be able to do it, finish this today. Woohoo! So I'll come back and weigh it when it's dry. Okay, so I've got the gold here. It's very, very dirty, highly contaminated, copper and whatever else. And it's just ever so slightly a fraction on the damp side. I did have it so rock hard, so dry, that I couldn't get it off the bottom of the beaker. It had baked hard. And I put the tiniest little bit of water with it to free it. I even broke my stirring rod in an effort to try and scrape it off. Once I had a bit of water in there, it came loose and I put it back on the heat for a while and it looked like it was dried hard again. I just broke it up. It's just ever so slightly damp and I'd say that's about the best I'm going to get. Um, it was not going to be a true weight because it's so contaminated. Um, so just take that into account and this will go with all my other gold and won't be long now before I refine it all. So, I'll see what we've got. There's just a smidgen in there. And it is, like I said, a little bit damp, just ever so slightly. So there's no way that would be really 7.7. .7. I would say probably three or four, five at best. So there you go. Um, sorry, it's not really accurate. But anyway, at least you see the process. And I wouldn't say it's extremely good gold. For the amount of pins there was, the amount of time it took me to get all those pins, but gold's gold. So uh, I'll leave that here for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I've only got one more batch to do. I'm doing some BGOs, so part two. And once I get the gold from that, I'll be refining all of this. So until then, catch you later. Bye.